Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Dev Channel Insiders, build 23590, which rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 15th of November. Now, because things have quietened down quite a bit in the beta channel, because of the recently released Moment 4 and 23H2 feature updates, it seems though that Microsoft is focusing a lot of their attention on the dev channel. So just to go through what's new in Bolt 23590, if you would be interested. Now, first of all, um, there's just to mention this, there's new natural voice previews in Narrator. And for this, we're going to head over to a screenshot provided from the announcement where they are introducing previews for natural voices of 10 new locales. So that's 10 new locations. And um, these natural voices and these new locales include Chinese, Spanish, Spain, Spanish, Mexico, Japanese, English, UK, French, Portuguese, English, India, German, and Korean. And over and above uh, the previews for natural voices to those 10 new locations, uh, Microsoft is also improving the image consumption experience with Narrator. And uh, um, that's just a couple of improvements now to Narrator, which, as many of you will know, is an accessibility feature. Now, I would say the big one with this update is the deprecation and the end of support for the steps recorder. And this is just an old screenshot I grabbed online because I've long since uh, uh, uninstalled and removed the steps recorder from my Windows 11 device. But nonetheless, this is now Microsoft deprecating a lot of the older more legacy apps the previous one we mentioned last week was the uh, tips app and now uh, in that process now of microsoft debloating windows uh, 11 the steps recorder now will not receive further updates and microsoft say is planned for removal in a future windows release no specific date given there just a future windows release and then starting in this build in the dev channel as mentioned build 23590 um, Microsoft says that uh, the Steps Recorder, also known as PSR.exe, will display a new banner notification uh, to guide you towards alternative options and they encourage you to explore other options in Windows 11 such as the Snipping Tool, Xbox Game Bar or Microsoft Clip Champ. Now, talking about the Snipping Tool, uh, don't confuse uh, the Steps Recorder with the Snipping Tool. They look very similar as we can see. Um, and work very much the same and uh, as mentioned this is known as the problems step recorder PSR and it was also known as PSR.exe and made its um, debut in Windows 7 and now obviously because obviously this is now becoming an outdated and um, deprecated app and a legacy app Microsoft now is removing and ending support for the steps recorder which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Now, just to mention uh, the next one, once again, um, the window share window will now only show apps under share using that are tied to the account you are signed into Windows with. And if we just head over to our settings, our system page, and we head over to nearby sharing, there's a bit of a change now for the nearby sharing. So if you turn on nearby sharing, and you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off. Microsoft says it will now turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, so nearby sharing will work as expected. And then if you turn nearby sharing off, and this can also be done from your quick actions and quick settings menu, and uh, um, as mentioned, if you turn Wi-Fi or Bluetooth off, it will also turn off nearby sharing. So a bit of a backwards and forwards scenario again on there, but I actually think that may be handy and what I would say a small yet significant improvement. Now, over and above that, just to mention the next one again, uh, in Microsoft Word, apparently Narrator will now announce the presence of a draft comment, a resolved comment, a bookmark, or the availability of accessibility suggestions when reading text in the document. So that's more or less the improvements and so-called new features that have rolled out in Build 23590 to the dev channel. And just to mention three important fixes that Microsoft is making to the uh, File Explorer. And as yet, I still get this white flashbang 
So that hasn't been addressed and seems that Microsoft just doesn't want to fix that, at least in my region. But there are three important fixes that Microsoft is working on for the File Explorer and Explorer.exe, which basically is your shell. So that's your start menu, your taskbar, your File Explorer, notifications, and so on. So the first out of three is they fixed an issue causing File Explorer to crash on launch. And they also fixed an issue which was causing opening the context menu on the desktop to crash explorer.exe. So that's the shell, as mentioned. And then heading back to the file explorer, they fixed an issue which was causing explorer.exe to crash sometimes when entering paths into the address bar. So I think some important fixes rolling out there for the file explorer. And uh, um, as mentioned, Microsoft still got a little bit of work to do on the file explorer, uh, even in the stable channel. But nonetheless, any crash that's addressed is an important fix as far as I'm concerned. And then we get some other narrator fixes, magnifier settings, window share. And then we get a Copilot known issue because obviously Copilot is still in its infancy. It's still in preview, even, even in the stable version. So Microsoft is um, dealing with a lot of known issues for Copilot uh, in the Insider program. And this week in the Dev Channel, there is one known issue regarding Copilot. So that's more or less what's new for this week for the Dev Channel Insiders in this week's latest Insider Preview Build 23590. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.